Uh, I did own this back in the day. I don't have it anymore. But I'm glad that they... I'm glad that there's basically fan ports of this. The one that's most true is the form is Doom 64 EX, but... And then there's also Brutal Doom 64, which I played for Halloween last year. This one I streamed two years ago. The best Doom 3. <laughs> I like Doom 3. But yeah, I'm an absolute fan of... Aubrey Hodge's uh, sound sound and music design. Uh, here's what I'm going to do different, though. When I ran a Retribution last time, all I did was just the Doom 64 maps. The bonus fun maps are just like the... I don't know if I'll do them, but I'll run through... I'll run through these three. I don't know what Redemption de de Denied actually is. But yeah, I'll run through these as well. The fun maps, I'll, I think I'll... Yeah, because one of them, they're not really serious maps. One of them's like the title screen map. And another one I think is just, uh, like, stuff to just show off the stuff in the game. Like, I think it's a dev, a dev room or something. Yeah, personally, Retribution's my favorite because, uh... It's still mostly the vanilla experience, but it adds a few touch-ups. Like it, uh, it adds in the animations that they removed uh, from the N64 version uh, for the shotgun and the super shotgun in particular. Smooths out and adds additional frames to the other weapons. I don't think it does anything to the monsters though. But yeah, and then it uses all of GZ Doom's goodness. Yeah, Absolution was the very first time I played one of the fan ports. Uh, I never streamed that. I could never get it to actually work. Um, recently. But I played Absolution all the way back. I think around the time that it first actually uh, was released. Like, I think it released in the early 2000s, Absolution did. Some areas were different last I remember in the existing maps. Oh, I actually didn't know that. I'm gonna do it... I think Watch Me Die was the hardest difficulty normally. Because I, I don't think Doom 64 had a nightmare difficulty. But that being said, we're doing it on Watch Me Die. different section in Dark Citadel instead of the whole dark room area. I don't remember where the secret levels are exactly. I know where the one is in the first level. I might remember them when I finally get to them. Hey, Navander. Oh yeah, you were the one that did this, didn't you? Aren't you? Well, you missed all the compliments. I was just pretty much paying this. Hmm. I also have a hole in my mouth. Yeah, I'll let, it, I'll let the uh, story play out. The quote-unquote story. For some reason, it's steady. We're st yeah, um... Twitch is really fucking weird like that. What the fuck is going on right now? It just made me host... Do I have to remove all of my auto-hosts? Because it just said that I was hosting someone again. Oh, great. Not again. There we are. Yeah, God damn it. Well, I have to... I have to load. Because otherwise I'm not going to see my mouse again. 
Alright. Okay, thank you, Twitch. I'm going to have... Snooze auto-hosting. There. Hopefully that works so it doesn't just randomly start to auto-host people. Are we all good? <laughs> someone, uh, someone say something. Alright, good. Yeah, I guess Twitch is too busy jerking off to, uh... Jerking off to their big boo female streamers instead of actually fixing the stuff that's on their fucking website. Or who knows, maybe that streamer that uh, threw her cat probably threw her other cat as well and they had to uh, do damage, I don't know. I'm definitely not bitter. But yeah, as you can see, the pistol and the... The pistol looks a little bit better than it did. One thing I also noticed... Like, this is auto-run, because, yeah, I always keep, uh, I always keep it as true. I feel like... It feels like running is actually a little bit slower than it is in... And I feel like that's how it was in the original Doom 64, but I could be wrong. Or maybe I wasn't used to... The last time I played Doom 64 was Brutal Doom 64, and that's normal movement. Well, normal for Brutal Doom, which is actually hyper-fast. I already know about this secret. It's in this. It wasn't in Brutal Doom. I'm not picking that up, though. I'm saving that. I'm gonna see if I can go for the secret level. So, that one we destroy last. We can get rid of that one now, though. And as you can see, you actually reload your shotgun. Now, one thing that would be neat for this... <sighs> Fuck. I was scratching my head. Not that I don't think you'd ever have to, but it would be neat. Because someone's actually making... Um, making models that keep to the spirit of Doom 64. I saw this on Doom World. Um... Of all of the enemies that weren't in Doom 64, like the Spider Mastermind, the Revenant, the Arc File. And they're doing a really good job of it. They they look like the models. They look like they belong with the other original models from Doom 64. So it would actually be really neat if someone were to like end up using it. Cause the Doom 64 assets are really underutilized in a lot of mods. I'm a little surprised by that. No Lich Jaw Masterminds. Yeah, the one in Brutal Doom 64 looks so goofy. I mean, Sergeant Mark IV tried with what he had, but... <clears throat> But it just looks so off. We should be good now. I paused auto hosting.
I do like that the weapons switch faster, too. That was really, really weird. Doomslayer difficulty you can choose makes the game tougher in a different way. Yeah, that's why I had I didn't do Doomslayer difficulty. Actually, the last time I played this wasn't even on Watch Me Die. It was the difficulty below it, so I'm doing it a little bit harder this time. But I might do Doomslayer difficulty in the future. Tougher enemies replacing new ones. Enemies don't feel pain, take more damage. The enemies have only 80% of their usual. Oh, so it's almost like Black Edition in a way. Hey, Leto. Yeah, and I made sure that the version that I had was version 1.5. For some reason, I actually thought it was on 1.6, but... So I thought I had an old version, but nope, I had the right version. It's actually a... I wonder... Oh, it is on dark. Let's turn... Very, very slightly. Just so it's more in the spirit of a... Uh... Because Doom 64 was a dark game. A very dark game. I might have to turn that stuff up later. <laughs> but it just seemed a tad too bright. I'm actually wondering... I think I should do this one first. Did I destroy that barrel? I did. Probably not the smartest thing to do, but we still got that Berserk pack. Actually, we got plenty of health. This shows you where her secret is. Now, when I did my like main series run and used Doom 64 for Doom 2, uh, in case anyone wasn't here for that, that was a uh, that's a map that puts that recreates all of the Doom 64 maps as if they would have appeared in Doom 2. One of the really neat things that they did was. Since this wasn't a function in the original Doom, they instead, like, make this open up and you see, like, a little health potion in a room that's similarly designed to that. Like that. Which was actually really neat. For some, it's too bright, even on dark. Well, I tested- I actually tested this ver uh, version... Because I think the last time I played this was version 1.2, and I remembered that there was lighting issues on um, on that version in some of the later maps. So it's really hard to get the lighting <laughs> right for this. I don't think that's really related at all, but you get what I mean. 
I hope. We can come back here. I still haven't gotten all the barrels yet. I think there's one more in here. That's fine, Evander. I'm just glad you, uh, decided to pop up. Because, yeah, a lot of people are happy that this exists. Well, I mean, there's, like, several ports of Doom 64, and, uh... People who typically speedrun it, I think, uh, use EX. If they're not using the actual N64 version. I know Blood Thunder does that. Hey, Tom. I think that's all of them, just in case. Oops. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I got them all, though. one. I'm pretty sure that's not a step, because this gets you up here, too. But you have to act quickly. Because that does not stay open for long. Congratulations, you found Hectic. That's another thing, too, is that in Doom 64 for Doom 2, the secret lot, the Hectic secret level is not there. It's in another level. Which, I guess the reason for him doing that is because it wasn't in Doom or Doom 2. Like, how that secret was handled, so I guess that's why he did it that way. I always wondered why the original staging area had its final... Randy Estrella... Were those the original map designers, or were those the people that ported it over to this? Or it could be both. It probably ran into the same issue that, uh, what was it, Map 15 in Doom 2? <laughs> Where it was programmed, but, uh, for some reason, like, you couldn't run over it, right? Yeah, this one's hard. I forget which one I did first. Not this one, because the rocket launcher is not there. I think I did this one first. I'm going to die a lot, because I don't know how to handle these. That's fine. We also don't want to get these, because... Yeah. This one, they actually kind of warn you. All three mid... Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, I wasn't sure if those were, like, people that for some reason handled the port of this, or if those were the original map designers. I don't really need that right now, anyway. This is going to be something else, though. 
I was gonna reset anyway. I feel like I can do this without taking too much damage. Oh, only Port Handler was you, okay. See, I know I could handle that better. That's a trap too, by the way. Alright, I know... This one's gonna be tricky. Yeah, especially since it brings you over. I forgot, it pushed the, uh, the rocket launcher pushes you back slightly. Alright, I only took two tries. I have a feeling that Doomslayer difficulty, they're all barons. At least two of them are. Barons with 20% less health. Oh yeah, true, I forgot the, uh... Yeah, that one doesn't have... That one's just a secret level. That one doesn't have the, um... The thing to power up the, uh, Unmaker. Simply inch towards the Soul Sphere enough so you're partially on the higher floor. You never really realize how much character it just adds, or how much it adds to the experience, just adding a few extra frames of animation to the shotgun. I forget, was this light up? Or was this... I don't know if that switch was lit up in the original. I don't need to get that right now. It might have been. It might just look slightly different in the GZ Doom engine. Again, I haven't played the original release in god knows how long. It's lit up by the se sector colors in the original. Use the dynamic light in front of it here, but I have a solution in mind using bright maps. Cool. 
you just get slayed of hand by something with that. What? <laughs> Hi, Mockers. Pretty sure it's this one. Oh yeah, that's right. This is where you get the chain gun. Doing pretty good. I got called into work tonight, but I don't have to be in until 4 a.m. Today was supposed to be a day off. Yeah, this is probably one of my favorite, uh... Like, you just see how it spins and then it winds down. This is probably my favorite... This is my favorite, like, look. Like, change from, like, original Doom to Doom 64. The chain gun in the original Doom looks, like, alright. This just looks incredibly badass. And with the extra frames on it, it just makes it look that much better. It's so satisfying to shoot this thing. Since it will work even with dynamic lights disabled. Nice. Lights off, you can't see the switch. I forget. I th think I can't... Oh, I can't go that way. I Wait, the red key's down here. I should go this way first. Oh, fuck. And I, I also rate your guys, like, fears on whether or not they'd send a cease and desist on the fan ports. I really hope they don't. But do you know if anything has been, like, officially said? Because all I know is that in a, a re-release of Doom 64 is rumored. I don't know if anything official was actually stated yet. And I haven't been able... Well, I haven't really looked, but I haven't been able to find anything official. Nothing is official yet. Alright, so... I know as much as you do. Good. Yeah, did they tease it at QuakeCon or something? Peggy listing, which is gone now. Oh. So, may not even be anything. They might still need to be uh, negotiating. Yeah, that's actually what we were do uh, and uh, welcome, by the way. In love with video games. Perfect name. Um, but yeah, right now it's for- I, I don't know how the rumor started. Uh, I th Like, I, I think it might have been started at QuakeCon, but I'm not sure. That I don't... Uh, no one knows anything right now. <laughs> like, the, the big thing that was holding Doom 64 back in the first place was because the game was developed by Midway. So they own some of the licensing to it. But Midway's been defunct for a long time, and I think no one knows who actually owns the rights at this point. So I think that's the biggest point of contention right now. Alright, yeah, thanks for stopping by, Navander. For anyone that doesn't know, Navander was the, uh, the sole developer of this port, uh, 
of retribution. And this is uh, by far my favorite one. I appreciate EX for what it does, like emulating like the the experience like completely vanilla. And I can appreciate what Brutal Doom did, trying to change up the formula of Doom 64, but this is by far my favorite one. Uh, still stays true to the original by giving you, like, the vanilla experience. If you want, I think you can even turn off the extra frames if you want to. Um, but... Like, all it does is, like, fine-tune a bunch of things. And it adds in, like, the the extra levels from Doom 64 Absolution, which was another fan port back in the day. As well as a few other things. So it doesn't go... It doesn't get too liberal with it like Brutal Doom 64 did. Again, I like that one. But, uh... uh this is just my most preferred one. And I think Doom 64 EX is probably the best option for speedrunners. For speedrunners who don't want to run the 64 version, because I know how... <laughs> how awful it is to play that on an N64 controller. The N64 controller has not aged well. <laughs> it wasn't... Nobody liked it that much to begin with. A few people did. It's not everybody. There's people that don't like the GameCube controller, and I actually really like that. It's, uh, it's very comfortable for my hands. Last N64 game I played on stream was Duke Nukem Zero Hour. I've seen uh, that. I've ne I wasn't nearly as big of a Duke Nukem fan as I was Doom 64. I only actually played Duke Nukem like in its entirety. Well, the Atomic Edition, uh, like several months back. I played the Sharer version, like, before that, but... I don't know. I just, uh... Wasn't as big into PC games back then as I am now. Rather have an N64 than a SNES controller. The SNES controller is kind of, uh, tiny. Like, I like my 8-bit, though. The most comfortable controller I think I've ever used is the PS4 controller. It used to be the PlayStation 2 and 3 controller since they were all designed the same, but... 4's curves it in a way that's just perfect for my hands. Not SNES, regular SNES. Okay, that's even more understandable. <laughs> Both of those controllers are tiny, but the the NES even more so. <laughs> it really was a literal brick. It was very, uh, very lightweight, though. I actually, it's the same with my mouse. I actually prefer them to be weighted. So I actually kind of like that they added the rumble feature, because that's what add weights to, that's what adds weight to everything. Yeah. 
Oh, I found both of the secrets. Come to think of it, like I know, I, like I know, I said I played like Doom. I did play Doom in the '90s, not when it, when, not when it was released. Um, and I think I did beat Episode One a few times, but I never the all uh, the first Doom that I actually tried. Like I never beat this either back in the day. I beat it before recent, like in the last few years, obviously. But um, this was the only one where I actually got into a good chunk of it. Like, even Doom 2, back in the day, I only ever, like, got up to, like... I don't think I made it past map 15. It's, I was... I was a bad gamer as a kid. <laughs> but we had... But we did own Doom 64. And, uh... I never beat this one, but I do remember getting into the hell levels, at least. actually kind of terrified me as a kid, mainly because of the, uh, the background music. But it was, like, it was weird for me, like, uh... Like, it, it scared me, but not to the point where I didn't like the game or anything, or I didn't want to play it. Like, Resident Evil scared me as a kid, but none of this shit scares me anymore. the animation for the double barrel. You actually miss this animation from, like, the... Because, again, for some reason, the animations for both the shotgun and the super shotgun, like... I don't know if these were the original ones. The original animations for them? I don't think they were ever released. But there's other mods that have used these animations... Like, for, because they were using the Doom 64 counterparts in some capacity. But they weren't in the original release. It was literally just the weapon would move very, very slightly. You wouldn't see your... You wouldn't see the reload on the double barrel. You wouldn't see the pump on the pump action. Hey, I didn't save yet. Sorry, I had to take care of that. <laughs> hey, Lakitsa. Never heard of Doom 64 until you streamed it. Knew there was a Doom on consoles, but figure it was a crappy lot. Oddly enough, a lot of people were like that. They either never knew D Doom 64 existed, because... Uh, the Nintendo 64, what, it's hard to believe, but there was a Nintendo console that wasn't actually that popular. Actually, GameCube wasn't that popular either 
But it was more popular than the N64 was. That's how you get it. I think these... Yeah, and I think they both lead to the same place. It's odd that on a console it was so meh, had so many... Yeah. What it did have... Uh, it was very well received by a lot of people, like... Not even just Mario 64. Banjo-Kazooie, which... Personally, I don't really like that much, but... Because um, I didn't like Donkey Kong 64 that much either. I, ne I never owned Banjo-Kazooie, but I think I I'm pretty sure I rented it once. And I kind of got bored of it really quickly. Okay, so I know that you don't use this to try and jump over there. Because you just have this very easy platform. <clears throat> Jesus. Are you getting tests on for that? Hopefully it's something that's at least treatable. Can't see any reason why it wouldn't be. One thing about this, too, PC makes, uh, Doom 64 way easier. Just because the controls are so much better. So playing it on Watch Me Die actually feels like playing it on Ultra Violence, not on Nightmare. Because these are typically the amount of enemies you'd be playing on Ultraviolence anyway. Yeah, it was so odd that, uh... <clears throat> this was actually an N64 title, but I guess that's just the... I think it's just what Midway was uh, working on at the time. I don't really remember where the other secrets are. Well, 
Well, there's the fourth one. I don't remember where the last one is. grab that anyway. I think they put that there on the off chance you enter this with low health. pick those up. Alright. I don't need that yet, either. Yeah, hold, this is way brighter than it was before. This level in particular. I like most of them. I actually don't mind the Kako Demons uh, redesign in this, to be honest. A lot of people don't like it. But my favorite is by far the Arachnitron's redesign. The Arachnatron just looks so good. Actually, I, uh, I actually really don't like the Arachnatron's design that much in the original too. <laughs> I think Dune 64 is trumps it. And oddly enough, I think the Arachnatron's redesign in this fits the originals pretty well too. The pinky isn't bad either. And, like, all of the weapons, I, I love how all of the weapons look in this game. By far better than I do in the original. Not that I dislike the original's designs at all. Uh, they've actually grown on me even more over the years since I've been playing, using, since I've been focusing my stream around Doom and Retro Shooters. They've grown on me. I used to only really like Doom 64's designs. But they've def the original design's definitely grown on me over the years. Same goes with the MIDI music. I used to not be that much of a fan of the MIDI music. And they've grown on me, too. And yeah, that's the interesting thing about Doom Eternal as well. They use the original design of the plasma rifle. And it actually looks like a plasma rifle and not a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> oh shit. Oh good. I wasn't sure if that was timed. The sound effect for the chain gun is also my... Like, this this gun in this game is just... It is absolutely my favorite. There is nothing that I dislike about it. The chain gun in this game looks badass. The sound effect that it uses is uh, powerful sounding. Again, how it sounds in the original is fine. It's just kind of lacking in the oomph department. 
Which is very much the opposite in this game. There is very much a lot of oomph to it. it makes the chain gun that much more satisfying to use. Not good. I think I have it on default, so... Crouching and jumping are disabled. Ooh. Also, I know Navander's not here, but if he watches the VOD, uh... Good on you for making their blood green. Oh yeah, I gotta remember to save, because, uh, in Brutal Doom 64, he made it so that you can't screw this up, but I think you can... I remember in Doom 64, you can screw this up so you can't get the... You can't get the secret level wrong uh, anymore. I could be wrong, though. That's just a teleport, and I think this is the exit. Three, one, two, four. I think that was right, actually. Yep, I was right. Yeah, this isn't a blind playthrough, so if if you want to give me the the locations, the secret level, because I have a faint idea of where they are. But I'm not 100% sure where they are. But I've played this, like, many times before, so I don't really care if people, like, tell me where certain things are. I only care when I'm doing a blind playthrough. After that, it doesn't matter to me. Yeah, I remember this level.
Oh, it just opens that up. That opens up, but I think I need to hit another switch for that. I think. Maybe it's that switch, I don't know. Nope, it's this. I hear more than one, though. I don't think it's back here. Oh, yeah, thinking about it, the only design that I don't really like from Doom 64 is the cyber, cyber demons. It's actually not that bad, though. Oh, yeah, the, uh, and the Mancubus. The Mancubus looks weird. He looks like he belongs in a Banjo-Kazooie game or something like that. <laughs> he's the only one, he's actually really the only one that I have a problem with. All of the others are fine. Even the cyber demons isn't that bad. The Mancubus, uh... Redesign though, it's just, it's so odd. Everyone else's though is fine. I do kind of wish they differentiated the zombie men though. Because you know the shotgunners, uh, the shotgunners like are wearing black. The, uh, the riflemen are wearing like are wearing, like, the standard fatigues. Yeah, derpy bus. Exactly. <laughs> Don't need that. either of those. I guess this is... Maybe that's if you pistol start. I don't know. Yeah, I, re I really wish they would have... Like, they, they could have simply done... I guess maybe they were really, really pushing for, like... Because the whole reason why they made some of these changes in the first place was because of memory issues. So, that's why some of the enemies from the earlier games weren't in this. And that's also why... That's also why, like, they have the, the Dark Imps, which are just basically, like, uh, translucent versions of the Imps. Memory or just the hard drive sp or not hard drive space, um... They can only include so much on an N64 disc, uh, cartridge. 
If this was released around the time of the, uh... The expansion pack for the N64, they probably could have included that stuff. But this was... This was released, I think, way before they even considered that. Oh, God. I am very, very slow. <laughs> I did not get that at all. I need to upgrade my RAM. I need to download more RAM. Oh yeah, this... When I was doing Doom... Every time I do this level... I can I can never remember exactly what the solution is. I think I've done this level like three times now. I don't think I found this in Retribution the first time I played it, but I did it in Doom 64 for Doom 2 and in Brutal Doom 64. I can never remember the solution to this. It was bugged in Brutal Doom 64 though. Like, this platform never lowered. Wait, the Unmaker is in this level? Not just the key for it? Or, not the key, but not just the, uh, the relic for it. This looks so much different in Doom 64 for Doom 2. Like, this bottom part, he actually added, like, the radioactive floor. Which is not a bad thing. Like, I like what that, uh, I like what that person did with differentiating it from Doom 64, but it still felt like Doom 64. One of those metal textures can be lower that reveals a suitable switch to the Unmaker. I just have to remember where exactly it is. I know this opens up, because the textures aren't aligned. There's a Hell Knight right there. Was there another one? Alright, that's to get the Soul Sphere. get that now. That's the yellow key. I think that's what you were talking about. Need to get the yellow key anyway.
I don't know if I can actually do that by uh, strafe running. I can. All right, now it's just a matter of getting in here, and I don't know if I just. It might be a switch. I don't know. Oops. Alright, so I got that one that says you needed to needed to shoot. Now I just have to figure out the one with the relic in it. It's not that one, is it? I didn't see anything. Yeah, you need to repeat their lower platform and go to the shootables. Oh, okay. Oh, there we are. All right, got it. So I think I'm done here now. I feel like maybe... Does that need to be shot? Yeah, as long as it's... Yeah, you can post the link. Especially since you asked. You don't... Uh, well... Thanks for ask. You don't need... Uh, I don't have any bots that will time out links, but... I don't because I don't need to do that yet. Oh, there we go. That's right. I saw the switch, but I wanted to get it legit. I didn't want to get it just by mouse look. Yeah, let me see this. Oh! Oh, yeah, thanks for linking that. That's cool. And you know what? I probably had that, too, back in the day. Uh... Was that from, like, Nintendo Power Magazine? Because I think I might have actually had that before as well. But we don't have our old magazines anymore, so I don't think I have it anymore. I don't need to get that. I feel like I'm going backward. Oh, I do have to go backwards because that yellow switch. So it might have been something different than I had. But regardless, it's cool. Yeah, hold on to that. Keep it in as good condition as you can.
Oh yeah, I think I might have gotten the relic that increases the power of this thing. Because this is actually kind of weak until you power it up. Oh, I think I know which secret I missed, but it doesn't matter. I got what's important. I think I can make it to that. Yep. Uh, there. Don't need that. I already have the chain uh, chainsaw. I can't get this yet, but I might as well clear out the room. How much of this do I have? I don't need to pick that up yet. This is basically a homage to trick tricks and traps, or at least how this initial room is set up. Nice! Lined up perfectly. Hang on. Nah, I don't think it's right here. I think there might be a soul sphere in one of these walls. But I don't think it's in this area. I don't really need it yet, anyway. By the way, they're my favorite enemy sound effects, too. Arachnotrons is a close second. I like the Hell Knight's roar a lot for some reason. His death sound is really cool, too. Yeah, I would say that's probably my only criticism of Retribution in particular, is 
And it's really the only thing that he needs to fix. But he doesn't even really need to fix it. It's not that big of an issue. Uh, it's just that the lighting is just a little too bright in a lot of these levels. Like, he doesn't have to make it too much darker because it was a little too dark in the original. I think he just has to darken the levels a little bit more. In fact... Wait, doesn't 4.1 have... Oh, they might not be... What the hell's dither output? Oh, it does have tone mat. I'm actually wondering. This is kind of like how Doom 64 originally looked. Colors being a little sharper and shit. I don't know, do you think I should stick with this? Or is it, like, too... harsh? Not good? Alright. Most of the other ones are much more subtle. Except for that one. How about Uncharted 2? I think this, uh... I think this washes out the colors a little too much. I don't know, it's kind of neat that... This is a GZ Doom thing, this is not a, uh... This is something that they added. The tone map shit. This is something that they added in 4.1. Oh, I brought the yellow key down. I kind of hope in future versions of GZ Doom they add more tone maps. Or maybe give you the ability to make your own. Like, within the engine itself. So that'd be kind of cool. That I can never remember how to actually get. Wait, what? Oh! Yeah, I was starting to click when that thing went up. Again, I'm kind of glad that I did that. Like, I I, uh, I figured that out at the exact same time you said it. <laughs> but yeah, they put that there because you're not supposed to mouse look. But I'm glad I didn't cheat that. Wait, the red key's not open yet, is it? Nope. Where do I go next? I got everything over here, right? Yeah. There's probably something in one of these other rooms I can 
I opened up or I can do. Oh. I can get this now. I got everything in there that I could get. Oh, wait, I think it's this. Yeah, I opened that up. That's right. I heard something open up back here. Don't know why I picked those up. Yeah, it was us. And that was... this. Yes. Oh, ammo! Oh, it didn't crush it good. I forget, there was something that I played that put a Hell Knight there instead of a zombie man. Oh wait, never mind, they put him here. So this was the original. Doom 64 for Doom 2 put something else here. They made this part a little easier. In fact, I think that's what I was expecting when I was doing this part. Do I have any secrets left? Nah, I got them all. Red key. Right. Is that supposed to open up like that? Hey, Kirby. They might only seem slower because, I don't know, maybe they are. They don't really seem slower to me, but they might actually be slower. I don't know. But... It might just be because of the how they look in this game, I don't know. Or maybe that's how they were in New 64. I do know they rebalanced a lot of shit between Doom 64 and the earlier games. That might be why, yeah. Alright, um... I'm trying to remember. 
remember. The exit's behind these gates, so... I can't do that at all. Alright. I think there might be a switch inside here. Not that one. Ah, uh, you played Doom on Unity. On an unregistered version of Unity. <laughs> Did you have fun, at least? Oh, here we are. This is what I was missing. He just didn't see me. Oh, God. Is that Spectre supposed to show up? Actually running really low on shotgun ammo. Yeah, that's what I've been hearing. I don't even know how they managed to fuck up the music. But damn, that is a lazy port. To be fair, they're not the only one that's done that recently. Appar the, apparently the uh, the ports of Resident Evil 4, 5, and 6 are pretty lazily done on Capcom's part. Was that a thing in Doom 64? <laughs> I don't... I know in Doom and Doom 2, I don't think the Hell Knights and the Barons can fight each other, but that might have been a thing in Doom 64, I don't remember. The Xbox ports that came with the Collector's Edition of Doom 3 and Resurrection of Evil. It was like that in the Xbox Live Arcade versions? Uh, I don't know, I never had that version. I, I've only... Uh, I've only ever played the PC versions, and um, I played the SNES, the the crappy SNES port. <laughs> I actually owned a copy of that back in the day, and then I streamed it as a follower milestone. Yeah, I heard that was a mistake on their part. I'm not really sure if I believe them, but they said they're fixing that. The only reason why you would have a Bethesda account to play Classic Doom is so that uh, is because of leaderboards for uh, on the Be Bethesda Club. It's not supposed to require you to have a connection. Yeah, the old Xbox Live Arcade versions are probably the best console version that you can get of Doom and Doom 2. 
Plus that, if you either had that or the BFG edition of Doom 3, you would get the No Rest for the Living uh, 9 map episode. Man, I forgot it had, like, co-op. Well, um, it has co-op here, but... On PC. I think I honestly don't remember... I'm pretty sure my uncle, like, I, I, I'm pretty sure I played PlayStation Doom back in the day, because, like I said, um, when I was young, like, my grandparents would take care of us since both my parents worked. Um, so, when I was, like, home from school or I was on summer vacation, um, my uncle was living with, uh, my grandparents, his parents, um, because that was, like, right after he divorced. <coughs> Um, and he had a PlayStation in his room, and he let us, uh, and that's how I got to play Resident Evil. I think he had a, I think he had PlayStation Doom as well, but I only ever, I think I only ever tried that, like, once. Oh. I wasn't as big into shooters back then as I am now. I don't even remember if, um, if I did actually play PlayStation Doom, but I think I did before Doom 64, but Doom 64 was my first real experience that I remember, because like I said, if my uncle did, and I am remembering correctly, I didn't play it for very much. Yeah, that's the rumor that it's gonna get a... That they did something with it. Oh shit. Was that a one-time only thing? I hope not. Nah, it's not. Good. Oh shit. I didn't need to get that now, but oh well. One of them was snooping around. Uh, Chainsaw is double bladed. A lot of mods actually like using this over the original chainsaw, just because it looks so badass. How do I get that again?
I don't know if it's something I walk over or... Oh, I didn't read earlier. Yeah, Doom 64 Retribution is the mod. Uses the GZ Doom engine. And fun fact, the um, the person who developed this, who developed a uh, retribution, was uh, was in my chat earlier. He couldn't stay for long, unfortunately, but still, it's cool to see him pop in. There we are. Now I can hit that switch. <laughs> yeah, occasionally there's a few map makers that'll pop into my stream. Uh, especially when I play their maps. How did that open? Hold on. Oh, it opened that. Uh, I'll try to remember to actually chainsaw someone next. God damn it. <laughs> you can make that, I just, uh... I was just too slow. Um, well, obviously it brings all the original maps in. I heard it changes a few things about certain maps, but it doesn't change too much. Um, for the most part, a lot of the original Doom 64 maps are kept intact. Um, but it fine tunes uh, like a lot of the weapon animations. Like, if you see here, originally the double barrel in Doom 64 didn't have that reload animation. Uh, same goes for this. The shotgun wouldn't, uh, the shotgun didn't pump in the original. <clears throat> There's also extra frames on all of the other weapons, so they look a lot smoother. It also adds the maps from other fan ports. Uh, the Absolution maps, which was one of the earliest PC ports of Doom 64. It also adds two new difficulties. And it adds other maps too. But I'm not sure where they're originally from. Why was I using the chain gun on him? Damn, they both missed. There we go. Good to know that still works. Oh, shit. Thank you. 
Fun fact, you can make that happen in Doom Builder. <laughs> you can make any enemy invisible in Doom Builder if you want to. I'll just save the... Fuck. I'll just save the fuck. Yep, you can even tell. Uh, here, I can actually demonstrate. Just from the spread. See how it's more condensed? So that's why sometimes you'll see, still see me switch to this shotgun, because this is better at longer range than the double barrel is. Double barrel is. Same goes for the chain gun. The uh, well, not necessarily, um, not for distance, but yeah, you see that. Now, same distance. If you do it in short bursts, you're more accurate with it. But that's also true for Doom, not just Doom sixty four. Oh, kind of, yeah. <laughs> as real as you could get back in the 90s. Forget, was Doom 64... I think that was... It was either 1999 or 2000 that this was released. Both just bring you up here, okay. Ah! Oh, damn it. Oh well, I'm not going back for those. I wouldn't say that's entirely realistic though. <laughs> that's just uh that is literally just basic platforming. Oh wait, actually, I think I have to get into there from here. Hold on. Yeah, that's how you get in here. Oh shit, I forgot. I should have chainsawed them. Is that open now? I think that's open now. Damn it. Bioforce gun? Oh, is that what they called it in the movie? That's so stupid. <laughs> Was that movie rated R? You can say fuck in the in an R-rated movies. What the fuck? I never saw the I never saw the movie. I probably should watch it. Oh my god. <laughs> it's so stupid. Oh, 
Oh, that's right. This the the relic that I have didn't increase its uh it increased its speed. It didn't increase its damage. One increases damage. No, one increases the speed. One of them gives you two beams. The other gives you three beams. That's right. Uh, I'm. I don't. I'm not a big fan of Doug Walker. I don't really like the man that much. Yeah, I heard that's everyone's favorite part about that movie. They said that the, the FPS view is actually really well done. That reminds me, too. I need to watch uh, Hardcore Harry at some point. Hardcore Henry. Why did I say it was Hardcore Harry? <laughs> hey, Mr. J. No. Hardcore hat. <laughs> Hardcore Harry sounds uh, sounds like that would be a good name for like a parody of Hardcore Henry. Now I feel bad because I had a I had a good buddy. I had a good friend back in school whose name was Harry, and I'm poking fun at that name. Of course, I... He's actually a comedian now, so... I, well, I know I know he's done stand-up before. So I don't think he'd be offended by that. Yeah, the music video that he did before that movie was really cool. That was basically the whole reason he did the movie. Was because the... Uh, was because the music video was basically the same thing. And I guess he managed to get a movie deal out of it. And Charlotte Copley, who's... I forget his character's name in that movie. Because he, it's the same character in Payday 2. God damn it, what the hell was his name? I know the actor's name, I can't remember the character that he played, though. But anyway, uh... I remember that character. <laughs> He's my favorite character in Payday 2. Jimmy, that's it, Jimmy. Surprised they didn't do that with the Crash Bandicoot remasters. Why the hell would you put microtransactions in that kart racer? I could understand, like, making DLC for new characters. Microtransactions makes no sense. Personally, there's like a few other people I want. Like Jim Sterling, I have a kind of a respect for. In that the stories that he does are pretty like thorough in terms of information. Some uh, most of the time. Uh, my biggest problems are sometimes he's spineless about certain things and. He's defended people in the past who have a very checkered history. Uh, 
Uh, I more prefer Sid Alpha, Young Ia. And, uh... What's that one guy's name? His uh, YouTube name? Legacy Killer or something like that? I like him, too. But Sid Alpha does reference Jim Sterling a few times, so I know he has like a, a mutual respect from some people. You can buy characters and items with in-game coins. That's what most uh, AAA companies do nowadays. I don't like that Ubisoft does it, but I still play Far Cry and shit like that. I never felt the need to really do that, because I actually don't mind the grind in a lot of those games. Because a lot of the... Because, like, Far Cry 5, the grind's not that bad. In fact, like, most of the weapons that you can buy, like, they're not any different than the standard weapons. EA is publishing a solitaire collection. It's online only and has microtransactions. The fucking Tetris. They have fucking Tetris on mobile. And... I think it was a subscription fee that they want you to pay for the full version so you don't get commercials in it or you don't get ads in it. It's the most brainless thing I've ever seen. It's not even that, like, it's a pain in the ass trying to play that game with your, uh, fingers. I don't even need that. <laughs> you can put 200 helmets on your- No, nah, actually, my bad. 100 helmets all over your body. Forgot, they give you two health. Or, they give you two armor, not one. Did I get a- I don't think I got the key yet. Is there a room that I didn't go in? No, that's right. I remember. Shit. You can screw this up, I think. I don't need this. But I can't get this again, so I might as well pick it up. Forget if... No, I don't think I can get over there by strafe running from here. Yeah, that's too far of a distance. I couldn't be get, I wouldn't be able to get up there from here. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's too far away. It doesn't matter what, pla what part of the platform you're on. I can never remember if you can get that by strafe running, but I'm pretty sure you can't. Got stuck. I got stuck on this. Hmm. Surprise mechanics. Love how EA is such the butt of many jokes nowadays. Um, can't go this way just yet, right? Right. 
Now, I don't think you can actually get up from falling in that. I don't remember, though. I don't want to find out. Oh, here we go. It opened that up. Not here. Oh, I need to go in here, though. Probably not a good idea to fight him in there. Yeah, see, you notice? That frame, that it, those extra frames of animation right there. They made it work similar to how it works in uh, regular Doom. Wait. I know there's a way in there. Actually, I should. I can get that. I can get that blue armor now. <clears throat> yeah, I still only have the blue key. I have to go back around. I think the gates over there might have opened up now. Yeah, because I can't go through there yet. Yeah, never watch, never buy loot boxes. Never buy loot boxes. I have bought keys for loot boxes four times in my entire time playing video games. Two for TF2, two for Players Unknown, Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. All four of them weren't worth it. I never bought any of anything like that since. For some people, they like the feeling of gambling. I'm not one of those. That feeling is lost on me. It's also why I don't play most AAA games nowadays, because most of them have the quote-unquote surprise mechanics in them. They do absolutely nothing for me. I get no dopamine fix from it. And if that's what you build your game around to try and keep keep around for progression's sake, then it actually takes me out of the experience. Honestly, I like Behavior's approach with uh, Dead by Daylight. I think they're a little, like, pricey with the shards. As well as the Argent Cells, which is the currency that you buy uh, real money with. Uh, but it's not, like, luck-based. You just earn. You earn either the in-game currency or 
Uh, you can just pay for them outright if you want. There's no actual gambling involved, and I'd rather have that more than anything. But that game's fun on its own, so... They don't even really need that to keep me interested. It's just a little extra. There we are. Overwatch was fun for a little while, and... Then I got bored of it. <laughs> yeah. Barons and the Hell Knights are a tad chunky in this game. Honestly, I, I actually thought I would put a lot more time into Quake Champions than I did, but that suffered the same issue with me. Plus, unlike Overwatch, I couldn't really get much better at Quake Champions, because I'm already familiar with, uh... Like, I didn't really play Arena Shooters that much, uh... But I'm familiar with that playstyle still, because Doom and, um... Like, I did play a lot of Half-Life 2 Deathmatch, and that's actually kind of... A similar vein. So, I was already... Like, I'm not as good as, like, the esports players, of course. <laughs> They're on a whole nother level. But I was already pretty good at uh, Quake Champions, and there wasn't really much improving from there. Oh wait, what's that in rep? What that? Oh my god, <laughs> I can't speak today. What a surprise! Uh, <laughs> I don't know what that's in reference to, Lakitsu. But yeah, for some people, it clicks. Some people click with certain multiplayer games. That's why I still play Dead by Daylight. That game just clicks with me. As much as it drives me nuts sometimes. Is the red key in this area? Wait, what did that open? Oh, okay, I know where that is. Red key's right here, that's right. In reference to you not being an e-games competitor. Oh. True. I'm also 32. <laughs> I don't have the same reflexes as most of those people in esports. I mean, I think there's a few people my age that do esports, but... It is just the fact that, on average, you have much better reflexes, uh... You have, like, peak reflexes around your late teens, early 20s. They start to go away, late 20s, early 30s. 
It's not really a significant decline until, obviously, you get a lot older, though. But if I were to compete on that level, I would have to try a lot harder. Oh, sh I hope, uh... No, I don't think that had a secret level in it. I hope it didn't. No, I don't think the next secret level is not until map 15? Maybe 14. Hey, Bon. That, uh... I'm not touching what my feelings on that mockers. I don't know, I feel like I would probably piss too many people off. I will say, though, that that's one of the many problems that I have with Blizzard of today. That's pretty much all I'll say about that matter. Then again, I'll be the first to admit, I am quite the cynical person. I do have a, uh, I do have a Switch. I've only really played Smash Brothers on it. I don't have online for it yet, just because I don't play it often enough. I'd be going into a rant if I had to explain what I just said. It's more about Blizzard than anything, but I went into a rant about them already, about AAA gaming in general. There's no passion for the project anymore in a lot of AAA games. It's all about the money. To the point where they use some very underhanded shit to try and get you to pay for their stuff. Again, I'm a very cynical person when it comes to the video game industry, though. The AAA industry in particular. You get people like New Blood that make Dusk and a Medieval. They fucking love what they do. So they're not like them. Like, you can just- you can just tell when you, like, uh, hear some of the developers talk on, like, Twitter how much they fucking love their job and love what they do and love the projects that they're a part of. And then you actually play the game and it just shows. I mean, you can make a great game and not have any passion for it, too, but... I don't know, something feels- something feels off about games like that for me nowadays. Okay, uh, when do you want to start? Alright, yeah, I do kind of want to sneak Outbreak in. Um, give me about... If you guys want to do a campaign, like, uh, one campaign without me because it takes, like, a half hour, then I'll have, like, three hours worth of this, uh, of Doom 64 in. <clears throat> Roughly two hours worth. I think I'll stream, uh, Outbreak 2. Just because.
Oh shit. Much 80. So that was a lot that spawned in. Now this room in Doom 64 for Doom 2, this room they made, they basically made into a big blood room, which was actually really neat. Anything else in this room? Oh, this way. Didn't want to take the chance that he'd close the gap. go back out. Nah, I think I go this way. No, no, wait, I do go out there. That's right, I have to do this. Also took away the German Nazis from level 31 and 32. Why the hell would they... That, I heard about that. Why the hell would they even do that? Bethesda owns Wolfenstein. And even then, if they were releasing it uh, in like Germany or something like that... Why would they make that... Why would they make that international? Why don't they just have that in Germany? That's what I think that they re is they did that for because uh, Nazi-related imagery is banned in Germany for obvious reasons. But why would they? I don't understand why they would release that internationally and not just uh, keep it out of the German release. Yeah, it's like the most brain dead thing Bethesda's done. Yeah, not even LGR is actually pretty, like, open minded about stuff like that. He's not even remotely interested in the new Commander Keen either. <laughs> I really don't know what their logic is. Nah, Germany just, uh... Germany just wants to shit on each other's chests. They don't want to... They don't want to accept their history. As being dark. Again, that's my cynical nature coming out. No, I'm not gonna get it political. I have a very poor opinion about a lot of things. 
but that's not for here. This is another puzzle, isn't it? This one I don't remember nearly as much as the other one. Probably alienated a lot of my German viewers. I, do I even get German viewers? Just so you know, I don't have the very best opinion of my own country, so. But again, I'm shutting down the political conversation before it starts. I already have the plasma gun, though. With plenty of ammo in it. I don't need to try that again. I already know what's coming. Hi, guys. Yeah, red ones are barons of hell. The green ones are the hell knights. It sort of follows the same color code as the original game. It's just that barons were more colored than the hell knights were. The hell knights were kind of had like kind of a greenish overtone to them, but the barons were kind of multicolored. There's no secret level in this game, either. Wait a second. I think I know where the second secret is. If it's not there, though, I'm not looking for it. Oh, wait, no. This isn't it. Yeah, see, for the longest time, this would trip me. I think this got a lot of people, too. This puzzle would trip me up. This is where I got the yellow key. The, uh, it doesn't even start out with that column up, up there like that. But see how either you flip the switch and either the cave comes down or that platform goes up. It resets it, however. I think it does. When you hit this. So you can just grab it.
So that's a puzzle with a very easy solution. You just have to look a little to your left. Oh wait, I think the second secret was the plasma rifle. Never mind. It was that puzzle I fucked up, but it doesn't matter. I think it was, anyway. Oh, wait. No, never mind. Even simpler. May secret early on. Ah. Oh, too late. <laughs> because every Doom map pack has to have a homage to Dead Simple. I like saying Mankey Bye. Oh, shit. <laughs> Alright, I was doing really well until that Mancubus, sh or Mancubus showed up. That's okay, though. This is not a long level. I like that meme, actually. I don't even like Eminem. Oh, yeah. The... Um, the pain LMLs haven't showed up yet. I'm doing better this time around, so I'm gonna wait to pick those up. Nothing wrong with Unity, it's just the people that are actually using it. Hell, Unity probably would have been fine to port Doom with. They just ported it really lazily with Unity. And they used an unregistered version of it. Which is all the more hilarious. Fuck! Scared me a little.
this up now because I can't get to the mega armor yet. Could leave now, but we ain't done yet. Actually, I'm feeling pretty confident. It's just where's the ammo? I want to save those for the end of the level. Wait, this is the end of the level. I thought there were arachnatrons in this level. I know there is in the original, but I thought there was in Doom 64 as well. In this level, I know that they're in the game. Rockets. Yeah, we can pick these up now. Alright, I think I'll do one more level after this, and then I'll switch to Outbreak with uh, the buddies. Nice. I haven't had lasagna in a... Wait, have I had lasagna before? Like recently, not that was Manicotti. Yeah, we'll do this level. And then I'll switch to Outbreak with my buddies. Uh, if anyone's not, if anyone doesn't know what I mean by Outbreak, uh, it's Resident Evil Outbreak. It's an old online multiplayer uh, Resident Evil game in the, during the PS2 era. We like to play it every so often. Didn't need to get that. Don't even joke about that. Capcom's not really known for doing that. But that would break my heart. Oh yeah. Well, I, I completely forgot someone wanted to see this. It's actually the perfect time to use it.
It's possible that they'll remaster it and, like, uh, port it to PC, at least. No official announcements. But considering that Resident Evil 2 Remake did really well, we're pro most likely going to get a Resident Evil 3 Remake. And they might remaster some of their older titles to kind of jump on the bandwagon. I'm tempted. I might pre-order it like a month before. I, I was considering getting the uh, the collector's edition with the Doom Guy helmet, but it sold out like the day that it went uh, that it was sold, and people are scalping the fuck out of it, like selling it for like three times what it's worth. So it kind of sucks that there's people that do that shit and ruin everyone's fun, but eh, it is what it is. Yeah, I kind of regret pre-ordering Rage 2. I pre-ordered Resident Evil 2, though, and I wasn't disappointed by that. This is real. This that was a really bad idea. I still haven't played Fallout 4 yet. I've been trying to get through a lot of the games that I have in my collection when I'm not streaming. And then I decided I wanted to play Resident Evil 2 Remake again. <laughs> So I'm currently playing through Claire A again. When I played that, I streamed it, so it might be it might be nice playing it offline and just enjoying the experience. God, that was a complete guess. I 
Actually, I think it might be a good idea to go this way first. Yeah, it's the other side. Yeah, this way. Hello there. I'll see you in a second. I could have sworn I heard something. It wasn't this, was it? Oh, it was. Oh, yeah. I should clarify, this was like, this is the, actually the second favorite sound from Doom 60, well, that Aubrey Hodges did. Was it, all these sounds were also in PlayStation Doom. This is my first favorite. The BFG just sounds incredible. Let's use it again, just because we can. do anything over here. Nah. I think they already spawned. There's actually not that many of them. They just all happen to have gathered it right here in the front. Yeah, thanks for coming, Hyrule Warrior. I am glad you enjoyed yourself. I'm pretty sure this doesn't have a secret level in it. All right. So, that is it for the Doom 3, or Doom 3, the Doom 64 portion of the 